Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series and in today's tutorial we are going to discuss three power query function related to week. So we are going to check if the data belongs to current week, next week or previous week. And uh, if you remember, all we have already created a date table in Power Query and we have done similar stuff for month, quarter and year and now we'll do the same stuff for week. So we will go ahead and try out by creating a new column. So we'll add a new column and in the new column we'll check first of all is this week and in this one we are going to use date dot is in is in current is in current week let me remove this now let's see what all parameters it requires it required date parameter only one parameter so it's going to take the standard week okay so we have to scroll down a bit we have to reach till 2021 we are going 2020 20 23 4 5 6 11 12 13 21 21 3 we should get some various now So 21.3 is ending here, we should have, yes, okay, let's filter it out. Okay. So 28th to 21st is the dates which we are getting. Let me close this. Okay. So select all, clear all filters. Okay, fine. So we got it. Now we'll create, now this is this week, we'll say is next week. So date dot is in next week and we say date and you can see when I pressed enter additional data has come so let me remove that and we say ok and let's quickly check for what is true for us so we have certain truths and they are from 4th April till 10th April ok fine clear all filters let's go ahead and do previous week so is last week So what we are going to do here is date dot is in last week. Okay. Sorry, we will call it previous week here. And this is the function which is available. And we'll give a date parameter to it. So we got the date parameter. Now we can see. Now we got this value and similarly we can to filter to and false and get it. Now here I have not created any week like week number and this one. So what we are going to do simply do is we are going to create a this week, next week and last week and rest of the place we are going to call it other the different kind of flag uh, which we were creating um, previously were different and now this is only uh, week type but in this one we are not going to have weeks. If you want weeks you can go ahead and create weeks and then use it. So let's create a flag and here we'll say if is this if is this week then we'll call it this week as we're going to repeat this if is next week then we then we will call it next week as if is last week last week then we are going to call it last week as 
Now here I don't have weeks right now created in this table, so I'm simply calling it others. And that's done. So we have a flag also now, week type. And what we are going to do is we are going to test this out. So we will, once this is get going to be refreshed, we'll get week type. And with the week type, let's go ahead and check it out. So we got the new columns. And here is seems to be our weeks. And where is our week type? We got a week type. Okay. So for others, we'll get a lot of stuff. Okay, let's have a filter. Others. This week. Next week. Last week. Okay. So next week, you will see the month has changed. Next month, next quarter. For others, you will get almost same thing because everywhere it is available. And next, this week. This one, next month, because it is spreading across two months this week. So that's what is happening. So go ahead and try this out. Do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular uh, series. Subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.